So this video here that I have today is just some footage from my first time using the Tyke Totter on trails uh, with my son. Uh, when this video was taken, he was about three years old, I believe. So uh, that gives you an idea for his age. I have this mounted up on a hardtail uh, mountain bike. It's a 27.5 plus bike, and that seems to be a really good fit for uh, the tech tire. It also has a pretty slacked out uh, head tube angle, which really helps with keeping his feet away from the front wheel. Uh, so that's something if you're looking at this, I would definitely recommend that. So uh, as you watch this footage, I'm just gonna offer kind of a few of my thoughts about uh, how this tech tire works. So the tech tire comes with two main components. There's the seat and then the footrest. And so the seat itself attaches to your bike using a quick release clamp uh, that attaches to your exposed seat post. So it kind of goes without saying that you wouldn't want to use this on a dropper seat post equipped bike or even a carbon seat post would uh, probably not be a good idea. The footrest then attaches with Velcro straps to the down tube of your bike and that's uh, what the child's feet rest on. Uh, again, I would be a little bit nervous if you're mounting this on a carbon frame, but in this case, this is a uh, alloy bike, so just Velcro right on there, and if it scratches the paint a little bit, I don't really care. Now, I will mention that after I took this video, actually, I did make some modifications to the Tag Totter, uh, specifically on the footrest portion of things. So I took the footrest and actually attached some uh, the plastic basket uh, cases for a traditional clip pedal. So kind of the, the old style of uh, road clips that you, uh, that you used to see that people would strap their feet into. So I took just the, uh, the plastic portion of that, not the actual fabric strap that you would tighten down, and I attached those to the footrest. And that allowed um, my son to slide his feet into those and it kind of provides an extra level of security for him and it definitely keeps his feet from having any chance of sliding forward into that front wheel even if we take a really hard hit. Now riding with the Tyke Totter, the first couple of times that I was on this it felt a little bit uncomfortable because I felt like my legs were a little bit bow-legged. Um, I was having to kind of move my legs out around his butt more or less. Uh, but what I found is that I was able to adapt really quickly to it and I was able to do probably at least 75% of what I can do uh, solo on a mountain bike I was able to do with him on the bike as well. Uh, you're really able to still move around the bike easily and still use your mountain bike as a mountain bike. So what this meant for us really is that we were able to go on a lot longer family rides. In the past uh, year here, we've been able to take you know, five, 10 mile mountain bike rides as a family instead of being limited to just one or two miles that he could do on his own bike. We were able to go to a lot of places like Grand Junction, Crested Butte, Brevard, Pisgah. We were able to bike in a lot of places that we wouldn't have been able to otherwise. Now the Tyke Totter also has a small handlebar in the front and you'll see him using that in this video. Uh, but what we found over time is that we developed kind of a rhythm of my son moving from that smaller handlebar uh, and then whenever we would hit some more technical terrain, he moves his hands out to my handlebars. And this provides him a much more stable platform to uh, work from when uh, riding more technical terrain with me. He's also able to stand up on that footrest and get his butt off of the seat, which also uh, you know, puts him in a suspended uh, position that really helps with bigger bumps. And I know you might be wondering, uh, yes, we have crashed with this uh, setup. And really, I think this is the safest setup that I have found uh, with crashing. As I mentioned, there's nothing actually holding him onto this seat setup. So uh, when we crash, uh, he's going to follow the same trajectory that I'm following. And so basically, uh, you know, I'm a pretty experienced rider, so I know when I'm gonna be going down. 
and I'm able to immediately let go of those handlebars and wrap him up in my arms and uh, you know hit the eject button with my feet and that has really prevented him from having any kind of serious injuries uh, while mountain biking with me. We've had a couple of uh, kind of low side crashes where um, you know I've been going around a turn and we've had to uh, had to eject off the bike and I've been able to wrap him up and uh, he's come away with the worst injury ever being just a couple of little scratches. So overall can't tell you how much I'm a fan of this Tyke Totter. It really has allowed me to mountain bike with my family over this past year when otherwise uh, mountain biking would have maybe had to be more of a solo affair and, and not a family event. If you're interested in more about this Tyke Totter, be sure to head over to everydaymtb.com and I have a full review right up over there. Uh, be sure to check that out and I have some more video footage posted there as well. Thanks.